What's going on, people? It's KC from www.kc-sands.com. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I mix beats. And the project that I'm using today is a remix that I've done uh, of Ariana Grande, All My Love. I don't know if I'll be able to play the, the a cappella that I've used, but I'll probably just like put little snippets in here and there so you can see how it works and gels together. So, first of all, start off with... Um, the drums get a balance of the drums and um, what I've done here so far is I've got my vamped on all the instruments and I've got a few levels here that I don't really want to touch unless I really need to so I'm just gonna go off for that so we start with the kick and what I learned the other day from watching a different tutorial is if your kick and bass is hitting zero db on your bu meter you're good to go so i'm just going to leave that up there for now and i've got this in pre-fader metering and i've got my vamped and the kick is wait that's hats the kick's hitting at about minus 16. if i take it off pre-fadering controlled by the uh, the fader so that doesn't help me so that could be at zero saying 17 but it's still it ain't right so if i put it on pre-fadering it tells me it's minus 17 which is part of the gain staging this is what i do this might not work for everyone else everyone does works differently so so moving on to the snare Let's get that bass in as well. If you can see the bass isn't hitting minus 8.8, .8, so I've got the vamped on there. Minus, t minus 17, minus 18 is what I'm looking for, so. Yeah, so that'll do. That's a nice little blend there. Uh, on the drums, I've got a, uh, on the drums, I've got a, a reverb that I like to use, just to give it a bit of space. And it sounds like really dry without it, and then when with it, you got. Bass a bit more nicer sounding I think it doesn't sound so dry so then I've got my hi-hats normally I pan them left but for this one I've, yeah I'll leave it left then we've got the open hat which I've EQ to take out some in the low end I didn't really need to but this EQ I think when you turn it on, it's got a bit of a low end to it. And so what I've done is take out some of that harsh uh, frequency here around seven, 7K. Drop that by about five dBs with, all show, <laughs> with a shelf, a high shelf minus six dB. And that's also got a bit of reverb on them. My bass has also got a bit of reverb on it as well. So that's the drums. And all my drums are going to the individual buses, which I then compress with the glue plugin. So hitting about one or two dBs there and then Release slow attack and then just make up the gain with about the same amount, about 2 dB. Glues it together nicely 
and it adds a bit more punch. So in pre-fader metering, you can see there's stuff going on with, the, with that here in the sound. So I'm gonna work with that new sound there. We're gonna bring it down to about minus 18 dB. What I'll do, matter of fact, is just quickly game stage all of those sounds. Be around minus 18, roughly. Don't have to be bang on. And then we'll mix them in. So I've took out 100 and odd, 125 hertz at the low end, probably so that the bass, the 808 can have room to breathe. And we don't really need that sound to be having too much low end, so the rest of the instruments can fit in. Um, going back to the bass, I've got a compressor on there, and I'm compressing, oh, I've used it as a sidechain compressor. So I've sidechained the bass. I've sidechained the kick to the bass. So every time the kick hits, the bass will duck and the kick can be heard. It's a bit more punchier. A bit more, a bit more punchy. And it's only by a couple of dB, so it ain't really that noticeable, but without it. It's nice. Then the next sound we've got is So that sound there, I'm going to call it um, round synth because it's got like a round sound to it. If you hear it, it's got... Sounds quite tubby, low-endy sort of thing. So I've got an EQ in there to bring out some of the 1K hertz and then take off a few dBs uh, with the low shelf and then again cutting low ends so that it will fit into the mix. What is that sound? So we've got, um, all together these three will sound like this. They've all got a bit of reverb apart from this one, which is comes with reverb anyway. I think what I'll do with this one here is probably take out some of the center by about six dBs and then widen it a touch as well. I think we can make some, create a bit more space in the stereo field with that sound. So it just opens it up a bit. I think that sounds good. So with the rest of the elements, So 
have you noticed I jump I, I keep jumping back and forward from synths to bass and drums and blah blah that's just because it I might hear something different so I have to go back to it and then tweak again so what I've done there on, on the kick I've cut 50 hertz um, that's probably because I didn't want so much low end on the kick and I've also got uh, the glue compressor on there which is compressing a tiny amount I'll boost it to db which is don't know if I've done that but I'm going for that and on the snare I've got the bx stereo maker and this is probably just to make it a bit more wider because it sounds a bit a bit mono a bit too mono so I've used this stereo expander knob here and then Gives it a bit more of a wider perspective. And in the mix it sounds like this. that's pretty much it you know to be honest all I've got here is some crashes and other little uh, sounds going off and <clears throat> when you're mixing beats that's that's pretty much it it's just a few sounds your bass your kicks your synths vocals if you're using them so I just wanted to show you how I how I mix my beats uh, one more thing that I do is so the kick and the bass Oh, sorry, so that the kick can come through a bit more puncher with the bass playing is I will nudge the actual bass part forward about three mil, uh, three, four ticks, milliseconds, whatever it is. And it would look like this. So I'll highlight it and then press Alt, right arrow to nudge it forward. So one, two, three, four five we do five and that one and then that will be it will allow the kick to hit first before the bass hits so that it, the kick just comes through nicely and it will sound like <laughs> and if you want you can go to your your main bus uh, your pre-fader if you do things like me and you can have an EQ on it on your pre-fader it should allow you to EQ certain parts and it will just create a nice sound for your overall mix this is like the overall EQ for the whole of the sound so what I've done is cut I'm using a mid side so I've cut uh, low cut the stereo uh, by about 40 hertz and the mono by 30 hertz so to get rid of all that low end rumble and you can hear it that's mono if you've got headphones on you can hear what's going on there that's the stereo you can't hear nothing I boost I boosted about 80 hertz 75 to 80 hertz on the mono bell So I wanted some more top end on the, on the outside the stereo. So I've used a high shelf, uh, about a couple of dBs there from about one kilohertz upwards. And then I've cut, normally I cut more than that. I don't know why I've left it so high. From about 17 hertz. And maybe we've changed that to about six dB octave. So it's a bit more smoother on the top end. Then I've took out these two points here, which is 3.7 and 4.4 kilohertz. Um, probably because it was sounding a bit harsh and I wanted to just cut out them frequencies. Every mix is different. Your approach might be different to mine. For me, this works, so that's what I'm going with. 
Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Just a few techniques that you can use and incorporate in your mixing. If you've got any questions and you're not too sure about certain things, leave a comment. Hit up my email. This is just my approach on, on this particular track remix. And if you want to hear the remix, there's a link below of the actual song, which is up in my SoundCloud. If you want to keep up to date with stuff that I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. If this video helps you at all, hit the like button. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching. I hope you got something from this. Music is life. Peace. Oh,